everyone, Sarah Neuberger here and happy Mother's Day. Before we get started with the video, I just wanted to give a really big shout out to everyone who has supported me with my last video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to link it down below. Please go check it out. It is a special video that I made for my mom's birthday and it is about her ALS journey told from her herself. <laughs> I just put all the clips together where she talked about what she was going through and um, what it was like for her. And so, um, yes, that video is extremely hard to make. A lot of tears went into making that video, but I have wanted to make a video like that for a very long time now. And I'm so glad I was able to do that on her birthday. So again, if you haven't seen it, please go check it out and support me and like and share it and of course donate if you can. Um, but like I said, I just want to give everyone a big thank you that did um, take the time to watch it, that have shared it and commented. Thank you so much for all your sweet comments. They really are uh, good encouragement for me. And um, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I want to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who has donated. Thank you so much. I know not everyone can donate, but um, if you can, that would be very much appreciated. Today we are talking about mothers, my mother in particular. It seems like talking about my mom and what she went through, my videos can get really sad and depressing. And that's okay to remember, you know, that kind of stuff. But I think it's also good to remember who she really was without the ALS. And so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to be pointing out five facts about my mom just to help people get to know her a little bit better and the way she was before she got ALS. Fact number one, she lived and died for her Lord Jesus Christ. You can see it watching my videos, how much she lived for the Lord. And I know not everyone believes that way. And, um, that was actually her hope and her wishes that through her story she could bring people to get to know Christ a little bit better and so she wanted to share her story in hopes of that and so that is fact number one fact number two she loved to garden if you would have gone to her house when she was still living at home you would have seen flowers and beautiful trees blooming all around her house. She had a big bathtub in her backyard full of dirt and full of beautiful flowers. She had a little patio area that she spent so much time in, uh, making it beautiful and putting bricks down. And she had a swing back there. She had different um, yard art or whatever you call it. I don't know, but she also had beautiful flowers. She said that it was a very, uh, therapeutic for her to get out there and get her hands dirty and so that is what she really loved to do. Fact number three, she was terrified of wasp. In fact, terrified is probably not even a strong enough word to describe how she felt about wasp. Wasp, bees, hornets, anything that stung you and buzzed in your ear, she couldn't stand. And unfortunately, she has passed that fear on to me. Thank you, mom. I don't think I'm as bad as she was. You could just yell, mom, wasp, even if there wasn't a wasp, which we did quite often. And she would yell and scream and yeah, run away. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Fact number four, she was a very shy and very sensitive person. If um, she didn't really know you too well, she would be very soft-spoken, very quiet. And if she felt like you were saying something bad about her, she would be horrible or she would have, she would feel awful and she'd be devastated. If she felt like she hurt somebody else, she would feel awful and devastated and she would do whatever she could to apologize until she made it right. But when she got to know you, she was very honorary. She was very talkative and she was very mouthy. <laughs> she could be anyway. And last but not least, she was a teenager stuck in a 60 year old body. That sounds very weird to say. <laughs> what I mean by that is that she loved to have fun. Yeah, she was 60 years old or whatever, but she loved to have fun. She loved to live life and she would get so excited about different things like she was still a teenage girl. Even dad mentioned it one time that she would get so excited about things and he absolutely loved that about her. So that was really sweet. But anyway, that's it. That is five facts about
about my mom that you probably didn't know. Um, but when it comes right down to it, my mother was just the sweetest lady that you would have ever met. She was very kind, very soft, gentle, and she was just an inspiration to us all. Um, going through what she went through, uh, she inspired a lot of people to always love God and praise Him no matter what is happening in your life. And believe me, there were times where she was very confused why this is happening. She was very upset. A lot of tears were shed. But in the end, she realized that this is what God wants to happen. And this is all in His will. And there is a reason for this. And she is going to accept it and live the best she can for as long as she has. And a lot of people couldn't understand that. They're like, if I was your mom, I would be yelling and screaming and crying and cursing God. Why, why, why? But she never did. She got upset and she was very hurt and devastated by it. I'm sure she asked God a lot, why, why, why? But she trusted him and she died for him. And she is an inspiration to us all. One more thing I want to leave you with. I just want to um, talk a little bit more about my ALS fundraiser. We, the Special Angels are walking in the Kansas City ALS Walkathon in Octo on October the 6th. And it would mean a lot to me if I could get support for that on my online fundraiser. If you click on the link below, it will take you to the Special Angels um, donation page. If you could just leave whatever donation you could give, that would be very much appreciated. I know uh, we can't all give what we want, and that is perfectly okay. But if um, you can, please do so. And if you can't, just like this video, share, subscribe to my channel. That would help support me too. And just get the word out there any way that you can. And I guess that is all I want to say. And so with that, find someone that you love and give them a hug because life is too short. Bye everyone and happy Mother's Day.